Cracking down on adult gaming rooms, the city of Jacksonville is now shutting down internet cafes. Businesses that do not have permits to operate are being told to close by Monday. Those with permits have another six months. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett has been following these game rooms since they first opened in Jacksonville and shows us what is happening to the end of their era. So this is a list that the city gave me that shows about 20 internet cafes that they're getting ready to shut down. I've been coming out to many of them here at the Vegas Fun Zone on Blanding Boulevard. They just opened. Now, the owner didn't want to talk on camera, but she says that they have the proper certificates to operate, and she can't understand what's happening here. There's some confusion over the gaming room crackdown. Some of the people on the city's list say they have the proper permits and plan to stay open. The city issued these notices to 20 sites, telling them they must shut down by Monday or otherwise be condemned. So this is the suited arcade on Blanding Boulevard. I've been here many times. Now, I tried to go in today and try to talk to a manager or owner, but the person there at the door said they wouldn't let us in. They had no comment. I said, hey, the city's got you on a list to condemn. And they said they can try. A source tells News for Jack's advice is also working on this. And even though there's a list of 20 sites that they know are operating illegally, they say that there are many more and they plan to shut them down soon. We've received reports that when the gaming rooms were visited by police and code enforcement yesterday, some staff took off out of back doors. We did talk to one worker at this site on 103rd Street. It recently changed hands, and she says it was targeted yesterday. She told me it's unfair for the workers who will lose their jobs and believes this crackdown isn't right. No, it's not fair because, you know, they don't want to hear them. People still has to go out of town to gamble. Today, we talked with Mayor Curry about the situation. He says council passed a measure because of pressure from the public. He signed it into law and is now putting it into action. And it's not always easy to track those that don't have a license because they'll shut down, they'll change names, they'll move so rapidly that it makes it difficult to track. Now, I was just inside and city council, they're currently meeting right now, and they just got an update on this from the mayor's office as well, saying that nearly 20 of those sites have been targeted. Now, what they understand, too, is there are many, many more out there. Police are still working on this. And they said if people have complaints, that they should contact code enforcement, and they will go after them as well. By the way, the, the ones that currently have permits, and there are over 100 of them, they have to shut down by next February. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station.